Welcome to another video. In this video we're going to be taking a look at a smart home smart appliance. And it's got smart home technology built into it. So if you've followed my channel, I've reviewed the Wemo device before. If you do not know what Wemo is, it is a Belkin uh, smart home technology. Basically it fits on like a plug, an outlet in your house. It connects to your Wi-Fi and through an app on Android and iOS you can control whatever is plugged into that Wemo switch. This is the crock pot with the Wemo built in. So basically you can control the temperature and adjust your dinner from anywhere in the world as long as you have Wi-Fi or data and I mean, why you'd be uh, somewhere in another country cooking something in your crock pot, I'd never know. But, you know, if you're at work and you want to have dinner waiting when you get home and you want to log in and say, I've got a meeting, it's going to run long, I'm, I'm going to overcook dinner, you can log in and actually reduce the heat and let it slow cook a little longer. So, this is a Wi-Fi Wemo enabled smart cooker from crock pot. Crackpot is one of the leading names on making crackpots. And if you're wanting to get into slow cookers, this is a great solution for you, okay? I'm actually a big fan of slow cooking. I mean, you can have it all done in 15, 20 minutes, and then you don't revisit this until it's time to eat. So if you've got a busy lifestyle, this is the exact same kind of thing you want to do. And there's books out there with tons of recipes that are healthy and fast and convenient and tasty that you can use for your slow cooker. So we'll take a look at the box real quick. As you can see it does say it's Wemo enabled. There is an app down here. Uh, like I said, it does have uh, Google Play and, and the iOS store. Uh, the, both apps are free. Uh, there will be no extra charges or anything. So again, you can see here it's basically what it advertises, a six quart slow cooker Wemo enabled uh, crock pot. And again, since crack pot, the inside will come out, so it's really easy to clean. Uh, if you get those crack pot bags, you can actually put a liner in here, and then it's super easy to clean. You just pull the liner out and throw it away. So that's really easy to clean. And those I highly recommend. And we'll get into that. We're going to pause the video. I'm going to set this up. I'm going to go through a little bit of the configuration. Um, a lot of the reviews out here say it's not real straightforward and super easy to get connected and set up, but, you know, I don't know if those people are real technical or not, and so I'm going to measure how technical do you have to be, how easy this is on a scale of 1 to 5 to set up, 5 being really difficult, 1 being really easy, uh, and then uh, I'm going to cook something in it, and we'll revisit that, and you can see what I'm actually making, and uh, we'll go from there. So, I'm going to pause the video, we're going to come back when we've got this unboxed and all out and getting ready to be set up for use for the first time. We'll be right back, guys. Alright, guys, welcome back. So, we've got this crock pot slow cooker with the Wemo built in, all set up. Got the app. Super easy, okay? Super simple to set this up. All you simply had to do, plug it in. It generates a Wi-Fi of its own, and you take your phone and you actually join that Wi-Fi network, and it just says like Wemo Crockpot or whatever. Um, so that's easy to do. You download this app. If I go ahead and close it, you can see there's an app here that just says Wemo. So download that from the Android or iOS store. You launch that app after you're connected to this Wi-Fi. It automatically detects the device on the network. And you just add it, and it's simply as easy as going into Add Device, Wemo Setup Instructions, and then you can add that device. As you can see here, crock pot slow cooker, and it would just you click it, it looks for it, it finds it, and you connect. Now, immediately when I connected, it wanted a firmware update. It's simple, I went through that, no problems whatsoever. Um, so I was up and running within like five minutes. Another cool thing, this is IFTTT, which is if that then this. You can generate a pin and then you can use the recipes on IFTTT to integrate this with other devices that you have. So that's some pretty cool stuff. So uh, for instance, if you integrated this with the Hue lights, when this was done, the lights would come on or the lights would go off. So there's little combinations of recipes out there that you could do to actually integrate this with more stuff. Um, so you could actually have this email you 
when the dinner was done. So that's pretty cool. Uh, so I'm going to show you exactly now. I have the device connected here, and so if I click this, uh, I can access this information pretty much anywhere. So as you can see right now, I've got it on low. Uh, it's been on for five hours and 39 minutes. It's cooking my meal for tonight, and uh, it says the meal is going to be ready at 6:21. Uh, so when I set this up, uh, I basically said, "Well, I'm going to cook it on low, and it needs about an eight-hour cook." Uh, I'm actually doing some pork ribs, boneless pork ribs, and you know, I'll browse in here in a minute and you can see what's for dinner. Um, and it says I have remaining of one hour and 21 minutes. Now, I could come in here and I could change the heat, I could turn it off, I could up it to high, whatever I wanted to do remotely. Say I'm going to be running late, I could come in here and take it from high to low, uh, or just turn it off, or keep it on warm, or you know, anything like that in case I'm running late. I can do that all remotely. So that's pretty cool, uh, you know. And, and like I said, you can come in here and you can just look and see. And I, and I've been monitoring this throughout the day. And I come in here and the timer is actually running, and it does say in one hour and twenty one minutes now that I will have uh, dinner. And if I go ahead and update that, now it's one hour and twenty minutes. So a minute has ticked away uh, on this. So and again, you can control the different temperatures by this little button here, and uh, you know, um, pretty much anywhere. So remote access is enabled. Uh, settings and about uh, the Wemo community reporter all problem. You know, it's a pretty straightforward and simple app. There's not a lot to it, uh, but you can definitely come in here and um, control your your cooking from anywhere you want to. So let's go ahead and actually zoom in on the device here, uh, and I'll give you a look at it. So let's zoom in. Now you can see right on the front, uh, we've got a. a LED indicates if we're cooking on low or warm or high. Um, this here is just the, the cooking part. You can turn this on and manually you don't need your phone. Uh, so if you didn't even want to use the app, I actually used the app to start it cooking. I didn't do anything manually, but in case you didn't have that, you can do that without the phone. Uh, this indicates that it's got a Wi-Fi signal and it is connected, so it's green. Uh, and then this just says Wemo down here. Other than that, um, it's just a stainless steel um, crock pot that goes, you know, pretty much anywhere nice in the kitchen. Um, and it does have a nice glass top. Now, I have used um, one of these crock pot bags. If you don't know about those, they're pretty cool. I'll even put a link in the show notes where you can pick some of these up. This makes cleanup super, super simple. This is the Reynolds slow cooker liner. I just will pull this out and it will be like nothing to clean up. I'll just throw this away after I've ate dinner. These are a just a god say, these are awesome. Uh, also, I mentioned about um, delving into this and getting some nice recipes. I did pick up a book. I'll actually put a link in the show notes if you want to look at this too. But this is like healthy slow cooker cookbook. There's like 150 fix and forget recipes, and they're all using whole natural foods, whole food ingredients in here. Uh, just a really nice cookbook uh, if you wanted to get into slow cooking. Um, you know, and you want to take this a little bit further, if you wanted to put like a uh, IP cam, you can actually log into the IP cam and actually see your food too if you wanted to. So if you want to make that smart home or smart appliance even smarter, you know, you could put a uh, camera in here and access that and you could look down, you know, have it aim down into your food and you could actually view your food cooking if you wanted to do that as well. Uh, so there are some options there to even monitor this even more so remotely, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna take some additional equipment and apps, but uh, it can be done. Something else, this uh, cord does recess back, so the power cord goes right back into the back of this device, so you don't have a cord hanging out, so I've just got a very short cord, all I need really to hook it up to the wall. That's really cool. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead, pause this, and uh, come back in. We're gonna go a little shaky. We're gonna take the camera off the tripod, and then just take a look at the device real quick. And what's it, what's for dinner? It's been cooking for five hours. Let's see what it's cooking. All right, guys, what's for dinner? Let's see what's for dinner. Mmm. Let's lift that lid. Can you smell that? Oh yeah. Those are some boneless pork ribs. Uh, some onions and some various spices and stuff in there and it's going to be delish. As you can see I've got that liner uh, around that. Now the nice, nice thing about this crock pot is that whole black piece there is just an insert that comes right out of this actual um, outer shell here that actually does the heating and you can just clean that in the sink so it's a very easy cleanup even if you didn't have this liner 
that whole part right there just comes right out and you can just put that in the sink and clean her out. Um, again, really nice. You got some ventilation holes in this nice lid. This is a see-through lid, it's glass. Like I said, if you wanted a camera just like that, an IP cam, and if you wanted to log in remotely, you could watch your dinner cook. Now again, this is a very nice, attractive device. This will look good sitting on anyone's countertops. As you can see, it's got a very nice, shiny stainless steel look. Um, as you can see, I'll go all the way around it. And that's the back. Uh, nice grip handles underneath here. They do not get too hot. Um, so I could actually touch that right now. So anyway guys, that is the Wemo Crock-Pot. Um, a very smart Crock-Pot at that. You know, you can log in remotely, control it, and uh, monitor how much longer your dinner has to cook, and then you will be good to go. Uh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and as always guys, thanks for watching, and have a good one.